everyone. This is Michal Shimon here. I was invited to um, take some photos and show the art that's in my house. So now I'm in my bedroom. This is the, it's hard to see the view from my bedroom. And I will show you around my house. Painting on top of my bed. I call it passage. And I painted it whilst my best friend was um, preparing for her death time. She was planning to go to Switzerland to end her life. I didn't know, I've, you know, I still don't know exactly what I did here. It just came to me, all these figures appeared. And a year later, after I've done it, someone told me that the figure on the right, which I thought was an angel, actually looks exactly like my friend. I'm shocked that I didn't notice it before. She's also in my bedroom. I call her Compassion. It's the first painting I did with uh, the Art of Allowing um, online course with Flora Abe. And even though she's not perfectly perfect, I love her and I want her in my bedroom because she's so loving and she gives me a very good feeling. So I have two guardians in my bedroom. Now we are going to my husband's office. This is from the time I was obsessed with his zebras. This one is pretty big. It's a huge zebra. I don't know what came over me, but I couldn't stop painting zebras. And coming out, coming out of the office, there are some landscape paintings. That are just free. With different mediums. Fun making. Going into the bathroom is like a little church. And this. This one is in the bathroom. When you sit on the toilet this is what you see when you look in the mirror you see her and me this is an old style of paintings where I was like so precise my god I can't repeat that anymore but coming out of the bathroom it's like a prayer place I tell you you just go inside and I call her ocean of mercy at the entrance, you have her to bless you when you come in and tell you that everything is okay and you're so welcome. And I saw her, it's a real woman, I saw in India, and she just saw her master, uh, in spiritual teacher. Uh, he was just standing next to her and she was so blissed out. This is another like old one of mine. I called her Green Maya, and I saw this woman, she's a friend of mine, and her body looked like the goddess body to me. This is also from another period. Here I'm trying to be more loose and uh, not so precise. There was a time I painted everything light blue and turquoise and a lot of space, a lot of open space. And let's see the nude ones, the old nude ones. And this behind her is Red Maya. She's Green Maya's sister. She was just doing a shamanic um, um, ceremony and I was painting her. This one is quite new one from 2017. I love this style where I feel more like free and I paint um, girls' images and childish. I don't know if it's childish, but childlike images. And I had a huge painting like this and everything I've done in this style was sold. So I only have this one left. I think she's adorable, I love her. And here's a, a trippy one. 
also from recently. And another zebra from my zebra craze time. I call it black and white in the unified field. There's so much to it, but I don't want to go into it right now. And inspiration outside. Oh, this one is one of my favorites ever. I call her the protectress. And I started painting her from just kind of pushing paint on the canvas and then looking at all the all the paint and what happened on the canvas and I just saw I saw this figure. She was there. I just to go around with a pencil and bring her out and and also this guy which late, later I found out that is my totem animal when I was doing a shamanic retreat next uh, the protectorist there is this queen like figure Painted her on crackle paste, so you can see she's cracked. See the, the texture. There's also gold leaf in here. A lot of the gold leaf is covered. This one I call the moon <laughs> because the moon is um, talking to her. These two couple of paintings. Uh, my first my first painting with the fluid acrylics, golden fluid acrylics and and also with this style of painting I learned with uh, Flora Abe. And I'm going to my studio. There's there are many paintings because I had an open house and it's a bit messy. Turn on the light here. Let's see old paintings, very old paintings from like two thousand and something. We call this one ecstasy, ecstasy one. And this one is ecstasy three. And let's see ecstasy two. This one is ecstasy two. It's big. And this is one of my favorite paintings as well. I call her Surrender. I wanted to do a sweet girl floating on the water, but my model couldn't float. She was a young girl, and the waves just took her. And, uh, and this posture was interesting posture. And I had this vision where, like an inner voice telling me, let me carry you, because I was so concerned about my financial situation and other stuff that was going on. And, I was floating in the sea and I got this message. Just let me carry you. So it's a challenge to let go of control and just let life carry me. And life is pretty amazing. Oh, and I love her. I cried when I painted her. Actually, when she appeared, because I started just mirroring paint with my hands and my fingers and letting it flow and sprayed and, and there's some gold leaf different kind of pastes crackle pastes and when she came she felt so familiar to me that I started to cry it felt like an ancient knowledge a feminine knowledge that is coming from the earth and it's like it's like the earth is peeling off her she's she's the earth I don't want to sell her. Never. Maybe one day. Not now. And my studio, Crawl. I think I painted it like a month ago or two months ago. I don't remember. So, yeah, in the shamanic um, uh, retreat that I did, and we did totem animals, I got the Crawl. Crow helping me. Actually, the crow is bringing the light to the humans, and his um, magic connection to 
other world and uh, it's I was so inspired so I immediately created this painting and above this painting oh, I don't know what she is like a priestess and this is my raven fan that I made with this this workshop And here, I'm listening a, lo um, a lot to shamanic music from the Amazon and it influences my paintings because I get a lot of like foresty creatures and feelings and atmosphere. This one also just came out of the just dubs of paints that I was looking at and, and I just saw this being and just it's like Michelangelo that saw the sculptures in the in the rocks I was so surprised seeing this it's so powerful for me um, especially when you see my old paintings with no dark no shadow I just wanted everything to be light and in the light and I couldn't accept my own shadow and darkness from the darkness comes such amazing things. Another one I'm working on. I don't know, I, I just don't want to ruin it so it stands like that on the easel for, for a long time. And maybe one day I'll know what to do uh, with this without destroying the mysterious feeling that, it, that is already here. Zebras behind, zebras and nude women in near ecstasy. There is another strange one. It's actually, I, these are my doodles. And someone said to me, why don't you um, paint your doodles? So it was really fun. I have a whole series of uh, painted doodles. Okay, last one. This girl I saw in an Arabic village and I was mesmerized by her. The way she looked at me was so strong. So they call it reign of peace. I think it's the longing that I have for peace and what I felt from her eyes. So I have so many more paintings, but uh, it's enough. It's going to be a very long clip, so bye. Thank you for coming with me for a little tour.